Okay, Mikhail had a good question um, about how you access the rendered image in order to paint over it. Um, and it's not completely intuitive, so I'm kind of glad that Mikhail asked that question. So I have this scene open where I'm, I'm just basically working with the grease pencil to get better at constructing characters. And just to cut right to the chase of his question, if I hit F10 to render this, okay, all right, now I could go here to my UV editing window. And by the way, let me show you this. You could just change the 3D view into a UV image editor as well. Okay, in my case, I, I have, you know, I just toggle with control right arrow to go over to the UV editing window. Okay, so now if I look here at the render result, which is this, I cannot paint over it. All I can do is view it. Now this says paint. Yeah, it, it's kind of confusing because if I if I go to paint, what actually comes up here is the grease pencil. You you know, in short, you cannot paint over it. You cannot paint over the render result. What you have to do is save the image. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and save this on the root of my X drive, like that. And then load it back in. Okay. Now I can paint over it. Um, so let's go just prove that. There you go. So um, now I can hit Alt S and instantly save that. And theoretically, if I in fact did want a green background in my image, I could come back in here. And go ahead and pull this in as a background image and turn that on and and you know kind of the way I showed before I can combine pre-baked materials with um, grease pencil um, and in fact actually that's what I did in this scene in this scene I originally had this guy looking like this and I rendered just this out because I knew none of these components were going to be animated and then I just animated his mouth over top of uh, over top of the the rendered uh, image, and the, the only reason for that is because you kind of want to if if you've got something this complex with lots of layers and lots of colors, it's just nice to bake bake it all together into a single piece that can then be dealt with in a more manageable way. So I think that answers Mikhail's question. Uh, the upshot, my friend, is that you simply have to save an image before you can start painting over it. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to add one more thing to this answer because I think it would, I think Mikhail would appreciate it. I'm going to hit Control N and reload my startup file. Watch this um, because this kind of cuts to the chase of the, there. there's kind of an implicit question in Mikhail's question which had to do with being able to actually paint in the 3D view. And that's totally possible. Um, here's how I would do that. I'm going to hit um, Shift-A. I'm going to import an image as a plane. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring in the image that I just rendered in the previous scene. I'm going to make it shadeless. And then just switch this to texture mode and also switch this to texture paint. I don't know if this will work right off the bat. It doesn't look like it It will. Okay, so then the question becomes, or wait, did it or didn't it? Maybe it did. Actually, I think it did, let me paint. Yeah, it did, it did. <laughs> so I might have to jump over to my UV window and switch my brush to like a paintbrush, okay? So, but see, now you can come back here, Mikhail, and paint directly in here on that texture, or on that uh, plane. So, and everything updates together in real time. So, anyway, there you go. There's just the answer to your question. Hope that helped.